Hello YouTube, LukeDude5 here, and this is my setup video for my HD PVR. So as you can see, there's my Xbox, and if we come around to the back, the component cable plug. This thing right here is my headset, and if I want to play with my HDMI cable and my headset, I have this little thing, so I can actually have both of these plugged in at once. And then I don't have to have my HD PVR on when I want to play. But anyway, this cable, as you can see, it goes all the way to my HD PVR. The back, where it says in. Can't really see that, but. And then the cables that came with the HD PVR, these heavy duty things that are never going to break, they go to the back of the TV so I can play. So when I want to play, I always have to have this on. And then this right here, this is something for the remote. I'll go get the remote. This is the remote, I don't really use it though. I guess you could use it if you want it though. And the next thing, well, this right here is the power uh, plug. It goes into the power outlet, which is right there. This is a real mess of wires here. And then this is the USB thing that connects to your computer. So it goes all the way to my Mac. And the way I record on my Mac is with ITV, so as you can see, there's the screen. And if I do something on the screen, it happens on ITV a second later. But say I want to record that. So on ITV, you can actually go back. And then as you can see, it happens again. You can start recording. So you can actually back up the video, which is actually really nice. And ITV is a really nice piece of software. It's $80 for Mac. But if you're getting an HEP VR and you want to use it on Mac, I really recommend it. It's really good. So, I have a bunch of cables that I don't use. Look right there. <laughs> and then over here, keyboard, mouse. And that's the old PC. It's three or four years old. Microphone. This thing is like for singing, I think. But it works good for commentary. And then I have that plugged into iMic. Because the audio port right here, it doesn't actually work. So you have to get a USB thing called iMic, and you plug it into iMic. So that is basically my setup. It's pretty simple, kind of, except for all the wires. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.